Hola, travelers. Today, we are going to talk about all you need to know before traveling to Madrid, Spain. It will include where to stay, transportation, other important tips, and more. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. Let's do it. The Geography of Spain Spain is located in southwestern Europe, sharing borders with Portugal, France, and Andorra. Madrid is located in central Spain and is the country's capital and the largest city in Spain. How to get there? Getting to Madrid is easy with international flights landing at Madrid Barajas Airport. It's well connected with major cities around the world. Check if you need a visa based on your nationality, as many don't for short stays. Best time to visit. The best time to visit Madrid is during the spring, April to June, and fall, September to November, when the weather is pleasant and the crowds are thinner. Summer can be hot and crowded, while winter is mild but can be chilly. Weather. Madrid enjoys a Mediterranean climate with hot summers and mild winters. Summer temperatures range from 25 to 35 degrees Celsius, 77 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, while winter temperatures range from 4 to 16 degrees Celsius, 39 to 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Where to stay now? Let's explore the best areas to stay in Madrid, along with their price ranges. Whether you're looking for luxury or traveling on a budget, we've got you covered. Let's dive in. For orientation, let's begin with Plaza Mayor. The Madrid city center is Centro. You can't go wrong if you stay in the Centro area. Number one, Puerta del Sol. If you want to be at the epicenter of Madrid's energy, this is the place for you. It is a bustling hub with many shops, cafes, and historical landmarks. The central metro station in Madrid city is Sol. Located at Puerta del Sol, Sol Station is a key hub in Madrid's public transportation network. It serves three metro lines and is connected to the Circanius commuter rail network, making it one of the most important and busiest transit points in the city. However, note that hotel rooms facing busy streets in this area can be noisy with partying lasting until 1 a.m. at night. Tip, ring earplugs or ask for an interior room that does not face the streets. A mid-range hotel in this area will cost USD 100 to 150 per night. Number 2. Grand B unknown as the Spanish Broadway is approximately 1.3 kilometers, about 0.8 miles, long. It's one of Madrid's most vibrant areas, filled with theaters, shops, restaurants, and nightlife. Staying here means you're in the heart of the action and within a short distance to major attractions such as Plaza Mayor, the Royal Palace, and Retiro Park. A mid-range hotel will typically cost between USD 150 to 200 per night. Number 3. Salamanca If you're looking for an upscale and quieter neighborhood, Salamanca is ideal. It's known for its high-end boutiques, fine dining, and elegant streets. It's perfect for families and those seeking a more luxurious stay. A mid-range hotel stay will cost USD 150 to 250 per night. Number 4. Lavapiés, one of Madrid's most multicultural neighborhoods. It's rich in diversity with a variety of international cuisines, street art, and a vibrant cultural scene. It's a great spot for budget travelers as you can expect more affordable food and accommodation here. However, please note that Lavapiés is located on a slope, which can be challenging for people with mobility issues or those who prefer flat terrain. An average mid-range hotel stay may cost USD 60 to 120. These are all average prices and will change depending on other travel factors. Transportation. Getting from the airport to the city is easy with options like taxis, airport buses, and metro lines. Madrid taxis are metered. However, the ride from the airport to the city center, N30 zone, is set at 30 euros, even if the transfer takes place during the night or on public holidays. Moreover, luggage isn't charged extra. The journey will take 30 minutes, but may take up to 40 to 50 minutes during the peak hours. Within the city, use the efficient metro, buses, or trams. Spain drives on the right-hand side, and renting a car is straightforward if you want to explore more remote areas. Safety. Madrid is generally safe, but be mindful of petty crimes like pickpocketing. Be cautious with your belongings. 
Recent tactics in Madrid involve a small group of women posing as tourists who ask passersby to take a photo of them using one of their phones at busy places. While the helpful individual is distracted taking the photo, an accomplice pickpockets them. To avoid falling victim, it's advised to decline such requests and walk away. The same caution applies to strangers asking for directions or signatures for petitions. Additional tip, do not hold your phone up if you are standing near the doors of the metro as the door is closing, as thieves may just snatch it off you just when the door closes. Best City Views For stunning city views, you can't do better than these two options. 1. The rooftop bar at Circulo de Bellas Arts offers stunning panoramic 360-degree views, including the iconic Metropolis building just near Gran Via. 2. Visit another 360-degree rooftop bar on the 27th floor of the Rio Plaza Espana Hotel for panoramic views of the city. Don't miss stepping onto the see-through glass balcony and walkway to see Madrid below your feet. Free things to do. Spain offers many free activities. Explore the beautiful parks like Retiro Park or visit the numerous free entry museums on specific time slots. For example, the Prado Museum offers free entry on Monday to Saturday from 6 to 10 p.m. and from 5 to 7 p.m. on Sundays. While not entirely free, many tapas bars offer complimentary tapas with a drink purchase. Language Spanish is the official language, knowing a few basic phrases will be helpful. In tourist areas, English is widely understood. In Spanish conversations, hand gestures are common. People can become animated and speak loudly, gesturing more when excited. So if you see two Spanish people who seem to be yelling in the street, they might not be angry. They could just be having an enthusiastic conversation. Helpful apps to use. Download these apps to make your trip smoother. Google Map or City Mapper if you need help getting around your destinations. These apps work in various Spanish cities. It helps you plan routes from walking to using different modes of transport. Metro Madrid is the app for navigating the metro system in Madrid. Uber or Cabify if you need a cab. Lime is an electric scooter sharing service. You can easily find nearby electric scooters, hop on, and ride to your destination without needing a docking station. Thefork, foodie alert. Discover and reserve tables at top restaurants in Spain with the Fork. Google Translate app is commonly used by travelers in Spain to help with language translation and communication, especially for those who don't speak Spanish fluently. It allows you to snap a picture of a Spanish food menu or signs for instant translation into English. Money. Spain uses the euro. Both digital payments and cash are widely accepted. Tipping is not mandatory but appreciated for good service, usually around 5 to 10 percent. Food and meal times. You must try local dishes like pala, tapas, and churros with chocolate. For cheap eats, head to local tapas bars. Mid-range restaurants cost around USD 20 to 40 per meal, while high-end dining can go upwards of USD 100. A Big Mac meal in McDonald's in Spain costs around USD 8. Meal times in Spain are later than in other countries. The locals generally eat lunch between 2 to 4 p.m and have dinner after 9 p.m. Many restaurants do not open for dinner until 8.30 p.m. If you are looking for a local dining experience with a busy atmosphere, eat after 9 p.m. City passes and guided tours. Madrid City Card allows you to enjoy benefits and discounts on the city's top tourist, cultural, and leisure attractions. It also includes a travel pass that you can use to get around most of the city on public transport for free. Mistakes tourists make. Avoid these common mistakes. Not respecting local customs. When visiting religious sites or upscale restaurants, it's advisable to dress modestly and avoid wearing beach attire. Underestimating the time needed to explore the city. At a minimum, we recommend at least three days in Madrid as it is a big city. Not making advance reservations for attractions like the Prado Museum. I bet you don't know this, People in Spain eat late for reasons that might surprise you. It is not due to the siesta they take. They eat late because Spain is in the wrong time zone, which means the sunrise and the sunset are much later, so they get up and go to bed later as well. Let us explain. Geographically, most of Spain lies in the same longitude as the UK, 
which is in the Greenwich Mean Time GMT, zone. However, Spain operates on Central European Time CET, which is one hour ahead of GMT during daylight saving time. Spain will be two hours ahead of the UK. The reason is because in 1940, during World War II, Spain's dictator Francisco Franco shifted the country's time zone to align with Nazi Germany, moving from GMT to CET. This change was never reverted after the war. Over time, Spanish society has adapted to this time zone shift, resulting in later working hours, meals, and social activities. Additionally, Spanish people are very social and enjoy spending time with friends and family, which leads to long meal times. If lunch ends at 3 p.m., it's impossible to have dinner at 6 p.m. Therefore, dinner is typically eaten at a later time. Other important information. Tap water is safe to drink in most parts of Spain. Public toilets are available, though sometimes for a small fee. Free Wi-Fi is common in cafe and public areas. Local SIM cards are affordable and available at the airport or city phone shops. It typically costs USD 12 to USD 36, depending on the data plan and provider. Spain uses Type-C and F power plugs for Europe. Here is a picture of the plugs. For emergencies, dial 112. Fun facts about Madrid. Number 1. Madrid is home to the world's oldest continuously operating restaurant, Sobrino de Boten, established in 1725. It is recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records. The restaurant is famous for its traditional Castilian cuisine, especially the roast suckling pig too. Number 3. Real Madrid is one of the most successful football clubs in the world. Number 4. Thanks to its fantastic location in the center of Spain, Madrid is a great launch pad to other nearby destinations for a fun-filled day trip. Toledo is a UNESCO World Heritage Site with must-sees including the Alcazar of Toledo, a stunning fortress that now houses a military museum, and the Toledo Cathedral, one of the finest examples of Gothic architecture in Spain. If you drive, take the A42 South. Alternatively, take a train from Madrid's Atocha Station to Toledo. The journey takes about an hour by car and a little over 30 minutes by high-speed train. Segovia is another UNESCO World Heritage Site, renowned for its Roman and medieval architecture, particularly the Roman aqueduct. High-speed trains run hourly between Madrid's Chamartin Station and Segovia, taking less than half an hour. That's it for our ultimate guide to Madrid, Spain. We hope you found these tips helpful and that you have an amazing trip. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our other video, Why You Should Visit Madrid for More.